pre-Ks. Welcome back. Find a spot you like a lot. One, two, three. Find a spot you like a lot. Listen to me. Find a spot you like a lot. Three, two, one. Find a spot you like a lot. Let's have some fun. Welcome back after that nice weekend. I hope you had wonderful essays and didn't think or worry about school because it's time to go back to school on Monday and I'm ready. How about you? The last time I saw you was the end of the week. We always finish the week on Friday. I never see you on the S days, Saturday and Sunday, but now you're back for the M day, Monday, Mama ma Monday. Mama ma Monday is the first day in the school week. But look, we said time passes. We talked about that last week. Tick tock goes the clock. You can't stop it. Tick tock goes the clock. Seconds turn into minutes, turn into hours, turn into days, turn into weeks, turn into months turn into years and we've been watching that time passing and boy did it pass over the weekend not only did we change the day but we changed the month too we have to say bye bye to may boy was that a quick short month bye bye to may only three letters and it flew by bye bye to may m-a-y We'll see you again next year, but our month of May is over. You worked very hard in the yard. We had Cinco de Mayo. We had lots of fun activities to do, but now May is over, and we have a new month coming around the corner real soon. Yeehaw! A new month coming around the corner real soon. Yeehaw! It's coming around the corner. Yes, it's coming around the corner. It's coming around the corner real soon, and now it's finally here. After May, come comes the month of June. I don't like June. It comes too soon. The month of June. I sing a sad tune. I'm not too crazy about June because June is the last month of school. The last month we're together. We have to start talking about where you're going. How you're gonna get there. What are you going to do there? What things are the same as Pied Piper School? You'll say, oh, that's the same. Kathy and I did that all the time. Easy breezy. And what things are a little different? Hmm, I haven't done that before. Oh, that's something new. We're going to be talking all about kindergarten, the big K, this week at school. I hope you've been working hard on your yearbooks because that's part of our graduation party, getting ready for kindergarten as well. Well, the month of June is here. Some people like June, beginning of summer. Kathy's not a fan because it means you're on the way out that door. Today's the very first day in the month of June, and I'll be singing that sad song, that sad tune in June. Well, we're going to practice counting because we found out that in order to tell time, it's best to know how to count by fives because the, count, the clock has little tiny lines all the way around. And this is the clock you'll see at kindergarten next year, except it will not have these numbers on the outside. All you'll see is these five little minute lines. So when the big hand travels from the 12 to the one, that was five minutes. How do we know? There's five lines. Here we go. When it travels from the one to the two, that's 10 minutes after the hour. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Stop. We were counting the 100 days because you're going to be counting the 100 days of kindergarten next year. But we only have 60, 60 minutes in an hour. So we can stop here. But counting by fives is a great way to get to 100. Not as quick as counting by tens, right? Let's do tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That maybe took us 12 seconds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's so fast. That goes by in seconds. 
When we count by fives, it takes twice as long, so it might take us almost a minute, but that's how the clock works. So we're gonna be practicing counting by fives this month. Five in the middle at the end, 10. 15, the middle white, 20, the end blue, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And that's what's going to help us use the big circle clock. Now the digital clock, oh easy to the breezy. We said that the digital clock, you can teach your little brother or sister the digital clock. The digital clock is so easy. We said you can find them everywhere around your house, on your computer, on your phone, on your iPad, on your TV, on your microwave, on your oven. Everywhere in the house is this rectangle box with the two dots that blink the seconds. The hours are on this side, 1 through 12, and the minutes are on the other side, 1 through 59. And all you have to do is read the numbers on the right, followed by the numbers on the number on the left, followed by the number on the right. Left, right, reading time. When you wake up next year, it's probably gonna be seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the morning is a good time to wake up. Easy to read, seven o'clock. Two zeros on the right side mean it's the beginning of the hour. Tick tock goes the clock. By 7.05, you better be out of that bed. 7.05, five minutes after seven. Make sure you're out of that bed, getting your clothes on. By 7.10, you better be dressed. 7.10. Tick-tock goes that clock, keeps going till it's 7.15. Now you better go brush those teeth, brush those teeth and comb your hair because you better be downstairs by 7.20, 7.20. Downstairs, get that breakfast on the table by 7.25, 7.25. Clock keeps ticking. By 7.30, you better finish that breakfast. Finish that breakfast, because mom's probably gonna have you brush your teeth again, mom or dad. By 7.40, get in there and brush those teeth. Get your jacket, get your backpack. 7.45, you better start heading out that door. Dress for the weather, because 7.50, here comes the bus, here comes the bus. Most of you will get on the bus before eight o'clock before the hour of eight. You had one hour, 60 minutes, to get yourself organized to get on that bus. Well, the bus probably takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on where you live. You'll all be to school by probably 8, 10, 10 minutes after eight. 8, 10, you'll all be at school. And then you're out of luck because there's no more digital clocks to help you. Then you're going to be looking at that circle clock all day. Then it's the big circle clock on the wall and the circle clock in the hall and the circle clock in the office. Nothing but circle clocks everywhere you go. So we're going to have to learn the circle clock you know. So you get to school a little bit after eight. This is the hour of eight o'clock. Remember we said that the little hand tells us the hour. That's the most important one. If you never learn the big hand, don't worry about it too much. The big hand's gonna travel around from eight to nine. Nine o'clock, you'll probably be busy at work. The teacher will have you put your things away, put your lunchbox away, put your folder away, go to your spot at the table. You might have a table with chairs and you'll have a special spot with your name card on it where you work. And you'll probably be working until the announcements come on for the whole school. They come on usually around 9.15. 9.15, the announcements come on. You have to stand and do your pledge. And the clock continues to go around. You might go sit on the rug and do some work on the smart board until 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you'll probably get to have a snack. You might have it at your desk. Other children might be working on other things. Usually maybe have a 15-minute snack. 
10, 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes after 10, you might have your snack. And then there'll be more work to do, maybe at the smart board, maybe at your table until 11 o'clock. And then you'll be getting ready for lunch and recess. Now, some children go to recess first. They go outside and play, or if it's bad outside, the weather's not good, they play inside. Sometimes they have a common area where they have games and things set up for you to do. But 11 is when you start thinking about lunch because kindergartners usually have their lunch first. So if you have recess, you'll be outside for one half hour. From 11 to 11, 30. There's the 30 down there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's half past the hour. You'll stay outside and then you'll go in and have your lunch at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And then back to the classroom. You'll probably have story time. Let your food go down, 12.30. You might have reading groups until 1 o'clock. And then you'll usually have your afternoon special. The days of the week will tell you what your special is that day. Monday might be music. Tuesday might be gym. One, Wednesday might be library. Thursday might be art. You might have gym twice a week, again on Friday, or you could have computer lab or another special. So one o'clock, you're usually getting ready for your special that lasts from one to 1.30. Half of the hour's up. You head back to your classroom, and by two o'clock, you're gonna be organized to go home. So when the clock says around two, you know that that's when the teacher's gonna be finishing up. You might have a science lesson or a social studies lesson, but by the time the hand is back down to that six, half past the hour, you've gotta get ready to go home because the buses will be coming to pick you up. Have to pack your backpack, make sure you have your homework, make sure your jacket zipped up because the bus will be taking you home and most of you will be home by three o'clock. So those are all things to remember. Those big times when you have snack, when you go to special, when you have lunch, the recess, those are the most important times on the clock. Don't worry so much about that big hand because that only tells you how many minutes after the hour. Remember that the little hand is on the eight, around the eight when you get to school. And then it goes to the nine as you start to work and the 10 while you're working with your teacher. When it's at the 11, you're starting to think about recess and lunch because that happens by 12. One o'clock special, two o'clock finish up maybe social studies or science before you get ready to go home by three o'clock. The clock will be your friend. The clock that tells you what to do will also tell you when fun things are happening for you. Tick tock goes the clock. And this is one of my favorite stories. We're getting ready for kindergarten this week. And this is all about a teacher. A kindergarten teacher, her name is Miss Bindegarten. Bindegarten, and that rhymes with kindergarten. We're gonna be getting ready this week for kindergarten, and Miss Bindegarten must get ready over the summer to get her class ready too. By Joseph Slate, pictures by Ashley Wolf. Miss Bindegarten gets ready for kindergarten. Oh boy, she looks like she's got on some new clothes. She's got new clothes for kindergarten. She's brushing her teeth, washing her hair, loading up her car. The classroom's been all cleaned over the summer and ready to go. It's the first day of kindergarten and oh, 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 Adam Krupp wakes up. Brenda Heath brushes her teeth. Christopher Beaker finds his sneaker. Make that a little higher, there you go. Miss Bindegarten gets her room ready for kindergarten. Now look, that's how the room leave, is left at the end of the year, like now. The desks are all covered and everything's boxed up, but the people at the school, the janitors have cleaned it and done the windows and made everything spit spot ready for school. Danny Hess rushes to dress. Emily Moko cools her cocoa. Fran Lister kisses her sister. And Miss Bindegarten gets ready for kindergarten. Hey, there's books in a book corner like we have. Oh, we have a globe at Pied Piper School too. Here's a kitchen corner with a, we have one of those, a cradle. Hey, that looks just like Pied Piper School. Some of these things are really the same. Gwen McGunny packs her bunny. Henry Fetter puts on his sweater. Ian Lowlow says, 
No, no, I don't want to go. Oh, that won't be any of my pre-Ks. Oh, no. We're going to be ready to go. Know what to expect. Oh, and look, Miss Bindegarten is sorting all the toys for kindergarten. We have those bins, right? We have Legos and Connects and cars just like they do. We have easels. Oh, my goodness. LaClaire's pet isn't helping. Jessie Sykes pedals her bike. Kiki Wong hops right along. Lenny Loom says, vroom, 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 vroom. And Miss Bindegarten, oh, she's setting up the blocks for kindergarten. Look at that letter line. Oh, we have one of those at Pied Piper. Look at those blocks of cardboard. We have those too. So many things are same, same, same. Maddie Lindo looks out the window. Ophelia Nye hugs her mom. Goodbye. Noah Bond climbs right on. There goes my pre-Ks. They're going to climb right on. Oh, look, she's putting up mobiles and decorations. Oh, we have one of those, right? Our Pied Piper tree. Miss Bindegarten is getting ready for kindergarten. Patricia Packer sneaks a cracker. Oh, you can't eat on the bus, Patricia. Quendon Wen high fives his friend. Raffi Mack high fives him back. Sarah Von Hoff is the first one off. And Miss Bindegarten is almost ready for kindergarten. Now, those are the kind of tables you'll have with chairs, similar to ours, but they won't be green. You'll have your own spot to sit. Oh, and the teacher has a desk. That's a little different, right? I don't have a desk like that. That's a desk. Tommy Tuttle jumps over a puddle. Vicki Denzel bites her pencil. And Ursula Crew ties her shoe. Now, Miss Bindergarten is ready for kindergarten. Look at that room. That looks a lot different than the beginning, right? When she was fixing it up. Oh my goodness, that's a big change. There's the board with a date on it and books like we have and containers like we have, class pets like we have, blocks, fish, mobiles, wow. A lot of things are the same, same. Wanda Chin marches in. Xavier Rolo yells, hello. Yolanda Pound looks all around. And Zach Blair finds his chair. Good morning, kindergarten, says Miss Bindergarten. And oh, 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 the fun be has begun. Oh, we're going to be talking all about kindergarten this week at Pied Piper School. The places you'll go.